Good day, sir. I am Paren Nering, a question document examiner under the subject CRI 200 or question document examination. Today, I will present to you a comparison chart as supporting evidence why I say so that this person who allegedly wrote the ransom note. This person is my subject, Ray Ulysses P. Agustin, a resident of Poroc 18, Dayawan, Villanueva, Misamis Oriental, 22 years old, and um, guilty of forcible abduction. In this slide, we have the comparison chart, which include the name of the subject, address, sex, age, and case, and the question is specimen and known specimen. Beside is a ransom note. So this ransom note, I will use this as question is specimen. So I will find um, words which uh, words which manifestly uh, have characteristics to the known specimen or standard from the subject. We have the word tomorrow, size, brown, possession, police, and the known specimen, committed, lazy, brown, commission, and police. This ransom note are, is written by the subject in disguised manner. In the first set, we have here the word tomorrow, and the question is specimen, and known specimen is the word committed. The first thing that I observe here is, uh, are the word, are the letter M. The characteristics of the letter And the second letter M, it manifests a connecting stroke. So, this refers to the stroke of the link that connect with another letter or the following. So, though it is written in, um, in script type of writing, it shows or it manifests a connecting stroke. So, the letter M here is connected with letter O. So in question is specimen, uh, we can also find or it also manifests in the known specimen of the subject. So letter M, the letter M it's, uh, is connected with letter I, committed and tomorrow. The second characteristics is the first letter M. So it manifests the pen lift characteristics where the letter M it's written uh, disconnected or there is an interruption with another letter. So M the pen lift and M. The third writing characteristics is the ratio of the two letters so m they have the relative height so the letter of the small letter same characteristics in the known specimen so these are the characteristics that i've uh, found after examining the two specimen, uh, the two words from different specimen. The second set is the question uh, size, the word size in question specimen, and the word lazy in the known specimen. In the question specimen. You can see the manner of or the characteristics of letter Z. By the way, they are written in cursive writing. 
So, first is the connecting stroke of the question is specimen. So, before the letter Z it's, uh, is written, there is a, it already manifests a connecting stroke. So, I connect with letter Z. Same manner, uh, same characteristics in known specimen. The letter A is connected with letter Z. Second characteristics, it's the retrace or retracing. So in the letter Z, we have in the letter Z, it manifests or the stroke goes back over another writing stroke. So in this part, the letter Z. Also, in the known specimen, it's manifest the characteristics. The third characteristic is an eye loop. Eye loop found in the lower uh, side, uh, lower part of the letter Z. So... This is an eye loop. In the known specimen, an eye loop. Though they are the same, uh, they, they are the same eye loop. However, they have the same, uh, have, they have the same eye loop. However, in the known specimen, it is a long loop, while in the question specimen, it's small loop. They are the same because uh, they have different uh, kinds of loop, uh, size of loop, because in the question specimen, the subject uh, try to uh, disguise his writing. So that is an I loop. So that is the second set. Now let's proceed to the third set. So word brown. Uh, the first characteristics uh, before writing the letter B, it already manifests the spore. So there is a small horizontal uh, beginning strokes. So in the letter, uh, small letter B. So in known specimen, this is the spore. Then, in the question this specimen, this is. Um, so, that is the spore. Next is on the, on the upper loop. As you can see, there is an upper loop of letter B, small letter B. Then, it is called a whirl. It manifests the world characteristics because there is a long loop found in this letter same with question specimen the third is an i loop characteristics so i loop inside the letter b small letter b and same with the known specimen Then lastly, uh, the connecting strokes. Connecting strokes, the stroke of letter W which link to letter N. So same characteristic or same manner of writing. This uh, brown, uh, they are written in both cursive type of writing. However, in the question list specimen, we can see that it is written in forward slant in a forward slant um the subject uh, most of the subject known is specimen this uh the manner of writing in the word brown however in the question is specimen so he tries to 
um, disguise or change the the slant of uh, the kind of slant of his writing. So this is the third specimen. I mean the third set. In the fourth set, we have the word possession and commission. The word possession from question specimen, it is written in small letters. While in the known specimen, the word commission there is written in a block or in capital letters. But they both manifest the the way the letter S is written. So first is the I look. So take look of the letter S. So the manner of his writing are the characteristics. So there is an I look found in the lower S. S. I look. Then in a connecting stroke, so the letter S is connected with letter I. Then an I look again in the letter, small letter S, which we can found or which also manifest in the known specimen. So the letter S is connected with letter I and there is an I look uh, below in the, so there is an I look form in the letter S. So there is an I look. Uh, another thing is the there is no point. So I there is no point in the upper. So I. So possession, there is no I. And in the known specimen there is no point. That will complete the letter I. And in the lateral, in the manner of spacing, so the lateral spacing, there is um, minimal spacing, so they are compact. There is an compact to each letter. In the fifth specimen, we have the same word again, police. So both written in uh, both written in bold or capital letter, then as you can observe in the letter P, there is a rudimentary curve initial stroke. So letter P, so this uh, side, which we can see also in the known specimen. Um, actually, more uh, most of his uh, letter P uh, possess the bird beard characteristics. Then the word, the uh, letter that I've encircled here, I put a uh, box. The letter, uh, the letter L. So there is a slant, backward slant of letter L. So, though in the question specimen, uh, somewhat like uh, almost a U, but it is a letter L. So, the, again, the subject, uh, he tries to uh, disguise this letter because most of letter uh, his letter L in the known specimen are backward slant, uh, are in the backward slant. And the space, so the spacing and the I and C are also um, observed or an indication that they have the similar similarities in spacing. Then, in the last part is the letter C and E. So, they have... The letter C is connected with letter E. Oh. 
with letter E. So, here, the letter E is a small letter. Though the uh, letter C is still connected, there is a connect. Uh, C is connected with letter, small letter E. Then, the upper, in the question is specimen, the letter C is connected with letter or the capital E. I mean, uh, these two are not written in both capital or bold type of handwriting. So, this is the fifth specimen. So, I am pretty sure that Mr. Ray Ulysses P. Agustin is my subject uh, based on the comparison chart that I've uh, given and my examinations. And most of his, uh, the way he wrote, have the similar writing characteristics. Thank you.